Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Darn Frost, and yes, I know I've been slacking off a little bit. I'm very, very sorry for I haven't done a deck profile for you guys for quite a while. Um, just recently, some of my cards got stolen three, like, like, maybe like a month ago. And then over time, it took me a while to finally get the cards I need for this deck profile we're doing today, which is Barrel Magnus. So I'm finally happy to say that I'm finally debuting this deck. It's not the way I kind of wanted it to happen because mainly um, everything in my old deck was all hollowed out and blinged out, flexed out a little bit for you guys. But um, those are going to be coming in the mail probably soon. And I'm borrowing the trigger, the front trigger uh, from Greedon's uh, section, sector of of his deck too. So, but this is the deck that that I've been wanting to debut um, for a few weeks. I know I've been slacking off a little bit. I'm sorry, by the way. But I'm happy to announce that I finally have this deck completed um, with the exception of um, some use from temporary... temporarily from... Oh, God, what's this bucket? Um, from Barrow Magnus, the temporary... Kind of thing. I, I really appreciate my friend helping me out with this too because it was a lot of money to get some of these cards back. And trust me when I tell you guys, it wasn't easy. Like, Barrel Magnus isn't a bitch to get, especially with one card being so grossly overpriced, if you ask me. But I think this is going to be a fun one for you guys. And so this is what I'm debuting too. And let's admit something. Eugene was very lonely. He misses his friend because his friend was not here at the time. So, I'm happy to announce to my last deck profile weekly video and to finish up the whole na the five nations until we get into the new Lyrical Monster collection, which will probably be next week on my birthday, which is Friday 13. So, fuck yeah, I will be a witch. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. But, anyways, let's get on with the video right now. I do enjoy this deck very much. And actually, tonight, after you know I'm done debuting this and putting it on YouTube, I'm actually going to go. I might have the video up by tomorrow. I don't know because I'm going to the hot springs tonight to relax and recuperate from all the drama. But yeah. So let's start with the ride line, which is Uncanny Burning. So this is nothing new for you guys at all. Then we got Deep Sonker, Electro Spartan. And of course, my main dude, Master of Gravity, Barrel Magnus. So of course, we do have our natural ride line. And I'm sorry if this is kind of a bit slanted, like. Right here, my camera is a being kind of an asshole right now, so it's stuck in one section, and the thread on it is kind of broken. So, it is a broken down camera, but hey, it's going to work one way or another. So, and of course, I'm using the UU uh, promo sleeves that you you get from the, the boxes, but only because UU now has his, his sleeve from Blackout. Almost. I need to start getting the Blackout sleeves too. God damn, I'm going to need a lot of shit right now. <laughs> So yeah, that is the right deck, and now with the main deck, which I'm now more than happy to debut, you know, it's the same send up, standard lineup for me for the Eternal, Barrel Magnus Internal. So of course, we have the non-holo versions of Steam Scar and Miguel, Mal Miguel. Now, here's a story, you guys. I do have one copy of Mal Miguel in holo form, but it's just weird for me because I'm, I'm very OCD when it comes to having a certain amount of cards or a certain way kind of thing. That's just my personal issue. Actually, let's put it right here. I'm pretty sure Loki won't mind having her tits getting covered a little bit. A wee bit. And then, um, for draw trick, I'm playing three draws, which is Rouse Wild, Wildmaster Riley. So, three of her. Because she's mainly in here for that extra 10k, uh, 5k value, which is 10k uh, shield right there, just in case if you don't have enough to guard, she's just right there for you. Um... We have four copies of Steam Deviate Dragon. Um, at the end of the battle, this unit boosted. Put this into your soul and choose one of your units and gets plus 2,000 power in a turn, which is absolutely perfect for Barrel Magnus because the deck, as far as I'm concerned, focuses more on the soul more than anything to increase Barrel Magnus's powers and the other cards too. Next, we got four fronts, which is four Natalias. And again, these are the ones that are borrowed from Greedon's uh, sector. So... He, she's in there for the extra 20k shield. It's much like Riley is in there for the 10k beat, beat stick. And we got our over trigger, which is Galgamount right there. So, yeah, at least this part here is now being fully restored. And I'm happy to do this for you guys. So, yeah, this is a rainbow deck. 
a hundred percent rainbow. It's not as gay as you think it is, so don't judge me on it completely. But you know, it's all good. You know, we're doing the best we can here, and we gotta do what you what we have to got. We gotta do what you, we gotta do, kind of thing. Actually, before I go on to the gray gray one lineup, let me hurry and grab me a Mountain Dew because I'm really very thirsty. And if you guys want to know which Mountain Dew I'm drinking today, ow! I'm a broken nail. Fuck my life. Um, this is a new one. I don't know if you guys ever tried this one, the Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. I don't personally like it at the end tasting. Like, it has a cinnamon flavor to it. But overall, it's something good. It's something that will help you, you know, go without being a little thirsty. But that aftertaste, though, I'm not really a big fan of it. But I'll drink it for the sake of it. Oof. Okay, can I say one thing? Mountain Dew, get your shit together, please. That's, I know it's gross, but you gotta drink it somehow before you, you know, for your sake. Okay, anyways, back to the deck itself. For grade one, we're playing four copies of Freeze Breeze, because this is the actual Barrel Magnus card that is definitely a four of, personally. Uh, at least I prefer it, and I finally got my um, gorgeous foil, uh, foil treatment on here again, so I'm happy. Um, so in replace of Gungram... Steam Battler going around. We're playing four copies. What the hell? Yeah. Four copies of Brainwashed Swirler. Now, I don't know where it happened, but it happened. This guy right here was grossly overpriced by it'd be $21 or $25 each on this one. So, you're basically paying a full 100 bucks for a playset. I don't know where it happened, but they got sold pretty damn quick. So, luckily, but luckily a friend of mine, Liam... Um, he had a place of it at, in his binder when I went to the locals, and I thank God, because I don't want to buy them all online, so I'm glad I traded something for, for him, so. Anyways, his skill is, is a, is a good one. So he does have the same ability as Gungram, but we don't like Gungram. At, when this battle, when this unit is placed on rear guard, soul charge one card, so he helps you with your soul charging ability and skills. When your card is put into your soul by soul charge, if your vanguard is greater or greater, this unit gets 5,000 power in the end of the turn. So, 10,000 if it was soul charged twice. So, he's not an official Barrow Magnus unit. I mean, he could be. He's part of his team. But it doesn't say Barrow, Barrow Magnus in the card text like she does. But he's a very good help in the deck so far. And as long as you soul charge two cards, he'll get an automatic weapon 10,000 power boost. So, he'll be an automatically 10k beater. Or a 10k booster. Or an 18k booster. I don't know. I'm just talking my ass right now. <laughs> Actually, let's move these right here. Because my OCD is really kicking in. And I just want this to be absolutely perfect. Kind of. There. But yeah, he's definitely a good card. And he's definitely from he's from the set 4 collection, I believe. Yep, he's from the set 4 collection. So I can actually read his, his legal text. And next we're playing for our final cards... Oh. Reclusio Hate Dragon. So, I know this is, may sound kind of weird to you guys, and weird probably for me too, but there, you don't need to run too many grade 1s in this deck. I prefer to play 12 in Dark States, just because I think grade 2s and grade 3s have more advantage than um, typical grade 1s can, but this is not a bad a bad build. It's really not. Um, people say that it might be a most terrible deck profile and all this bullshit, but to me... This is where I come from. This is where I like to find a build that can match not only the R-Type, like Barrel Magnus series or Eugene series, where the fuck it is. It's just a unit that can do its job fucking right. And, of course, it doesn't really come down with the deck itself. It comes down to the better player is. So, you know, that's just my personal take on it. You can be entitled to your own opinion. But, yeah, that is my grade 1s. And if you guys want to know... I'm using temporarily the white sleeves. I've never used the white sleeves on these decks at all, um, except for Link Joker or Me Messiah because that's pure. That's purity. Because white also means purity in some ways, not white power or anything like that. So get that out of your fucking heads, please. For grade twos, um, I'm playing of course eight grade twos in this deck because the two of them revolve around Barrel Magnus. So I'm using the non holo foil treatments, Keenly Ludi. So, of course, that's nothing new for you guys because she's her skill comes from the Barrel Magnus series herself. And this one is 
the one I finally got back, which is like 10 or 5 cents, which is shocking to me. Like, this is the most cheap-ass card you can think of. And, you know, I think it's kind of awesome. So, we got Cleve Moodler for our last uh, grade 2. So, pretty simple. You know, it's... There's other grade twos I might be able to find that are better than these either of these two. But this is a series where Barrow Magnus gets his final full support. So, in honor of Barrow Magnus, I decided to find out any other Barrow Magnus units I could find that are actually worth the time and value to my time. For our grade threes, we are playing, I believe, 13 grade threes in this deck. Which, because, here's this. So, of course, we're playing the three copies of Persona Ride Barrel Magnus, four copies of Atreve Hayes Rupture, and she is from the set four collection, so I have no problem reading her at all. Uh, st stupid bug. Alright, this is a one turn active skill only, so just be careful with this one. Um, and it only re it reacts to the. Ugh. It reacts to the rear guard only. If your vanguard is Barrow Magnus, put a card from your hand into your soul, and all your front row units get 5,000 power in the end of the turn. If your soul has 10 or more cards, they get 10,000 instead of 5,000. So, she's just right there as a booster. So, one per turn, you can use her skill once. And I don't know if you can use multiple multiple times with um, these two. So, if you, I have a question, you guys. Can you use the skill actually once per turn, or can you use it like for each different rupture card? I don't know. But the card overall is still a good set, believe it or not, TBH. And then, for our third uh, cards, the non-foil, non-hollow treatment is Supernatural Extraction. So, that's the three cards I did select to choose. And this one is from the actual set 2 collection. So, I'm sure you guys know why it's in here for a reason. So, it does match with Barrel Madness from being, being cool and collected to be fucked up madness. So, he... He must have some good crack, because that's what the nice picture is. Like, he has some good crack. But, <laughs> but it was a little joke right there, you guys. I'm just trying to have, like, a bit, bit of a good mood, because I am excited to debut this deck again, or update it. <sighs> so, you guys, that is the conclusion deck profile update for Barrel of Madness. I'm so happy that I finally got this deck restored. Um, not in the way it's meant to be, meant to be, but I'm glad it's fully restored to my exact duplicate copy of the old deck that was taken from me so i'm happy i got this one back so if you guys like the video for this comment leave a comment down below subscribe please um you know let me know what your thoughts are about this deck as always there'll be a full list in the description box down below so don't be afraid to go check that out also if you guys want to know who the owner of this deck actually was it's Kets ketsuki moriyama from season one of card fight vanguard overdress um, he was from another team from a different sector of Japan, I believe. So, that's why. Also, you guys, I have a big announcement. Before I do go, I have an announcement to make. Um, at the end, after the deck profile series is over and done with from all five nations, before Lyricals get their new power and their new collection, I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be starting um, a series where I do some of these deck profiles, but only in budget form. Um, there was a Vanguard Tuber, but shout out to Kingsville, because I can't pronounce your full name completely, so forgive me if that was a bit of a bit much, but I call you Kingsville. Um, shout out to my friend Kingsville from the Philippines. Um, he was mentioning to me that his fighters don't have the luxurious cards or all the cards in their um, at this disposal at the moment, at their arsenal at the moment. So I be my, so he asked me to rec or make a request that I start doing a series, uh, start using the decks in a more simple kind of matter, which is, you know, you, you know me guys, I never hardly ever do budget versions. You guys know me, I'm very luxurious, bougie and all that stuff and very serious about the decks that I did choose to play in. But now... It's kind of getting to the point that I want to try something new and different, so this might be a good thing for my series. And this will help get some card fighters who can't afford much, um, you know, with some stuff like that, which, it sucks, you know. I feel pretty bad for people from the Philippines that don't have access to stronger cards except the ones that have been dealt with. But, hey, you know what? I'll It'll be a pleasure, and it'll be an honor for me to do a deck profile for you and representing 
you know, Team Philippines. You know, I would be more happy to do that because I know it's like when you don't have enough money to buy um, luxurious things. I know that for a fact because I was a poor, I was a broke ass bitch myself. And every car fighter, it doesn't matter uh, like how much the deck is cost as long as you pilot pretty well and you know all the mechanics and all the things you need to do, read your cards right. You'll be a good player in no time. And I am more than happy to speak about that a lot more like a chew-off. So, it's my promise to you, Kingsville, that I will make you proud by doing these... It will be an honor to display these decks in a more budget kind of way. And we're going to call it the B-Series. So, you know, there might become a B-Series, like, down the line in Carpet Vanguard Officials. But, for right now, I'm calling it the B-Series in the decks that you request. And so there's already been two decks being requested to me, and I'll be looking at into it some other time. But when I'm not busy with work, but hey, it was an honor to finally get this opportunity from you. So thank you, Kingsville, for giving me this opportunity to, um, you know, have this come up with this amazing idea too. So thank you for the idea, and you take the cre you take half the credit. So, anyways, you guys, that is the the announcement I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm gonna get ready to go to my locals soon and. Yeah, see how this deck actually works tonight. So, as always, I've been your host, Siren Frost. Thank you all for watching very much so. It means a lot to me that you guys actually care about what I have to say sometimes. And it's it's very heartwarming to know that people actually care about what I have to say. And it's nice to do these for you guys, too. So, anyways, you guys, I am your host, Siren Frost, once again. And I'll catch you guys next video. Remember, just be, be safe, be you, make good choices, and stay out of trouble, please. I love you all. Sign out.